G'day mate and welcome back to Capricorn Street with me, G'day. In our last episode, we started the great move into the greater. There's many, many, many things that we need to get into the greater. And we just started the process. We started the process with planning out some where we're going to put the copper and where we're going to put the glass. Also roughly placed out our construction parts because we're going to obviously need a whole bunch of construction parts in the not too distant future. Actually, probably right about now. Also, um, well, we, we talked about putting in, well, our concrete slab production and also our iron and steel. And today's episode, today's episode, I really want to get all that set up. I'd really like to get to a position where we at least start making construction parts and hopefully maintenance inside the crater. Although, then we're going to deal with recyclables. Uh, that's a whole different issue. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll work out things one at a time. But before I get to that, I need to ask the most important question of all. And that is, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like borrowing a like early in the video. Just in case you, you know, get called away, you get dragged away, you need to come back and finish watching it later. It helps out the algorithm in the meantime. If worse comes to worse, you didn't enjoy the video, you didn't thoroughly think it was worth your like, by all means, you can have your like back. And with that out of the way, let's get in to today's episode. As always, I like to start off every episode with thanking those that go above and beyond. Thanking those that choose to support the channel. And today, I need to thank uh, the wonderful uh, Sora M, who is um, hopefully not going to soar down the side of this mountain because that sounds like it could hurt. And I have no idea what the repair bill on an excavator is. But um, hopefully they dig their way down, providing we don't get too many more landslides. Uh, speaking of landslides, that's the very first thing we're going to start with. We're going to start with putting in a wall here. Uh, I don't really want to put in a wall here to, well, stop stop these towers getting knocked over because frankly I don't care if they get knocked over it's really about stopping that dirt I want to stop that dirt uh, accidentally uh, low as possible there okay and you guys need to go in one more time I want to stop that dirt falling in uh, we need to dig down to minus 30 and although I could stagger these walls and do as I've done already it's just not worth my time and effort we're just gonna have the dirt fall in and we'll work out the dirt later uh, we're gonna get that wall built to at least hold back some of the dirt. Uh, next thing I need to do is loop back belts. We already have construction part one, which is being looped back into construction parts two, uh, but two is not being looped back into threes. We're gonna start that process off because I'm gonna need an awful lot of, no, I need to reverse that belt. Uh, I'm gonna need an awful lot of construction parts three. An awful lot. Uh, can I put you into there, please? Cool. Uh, we have, you're basically a full box. You're not very full and you are, yeah, 700 sounds like a lot, but I know how many I'm about to use. All right, next thing I need to do is we have a water problem. Uh, we have a water problem with uh, all these cool casters. Uh, two problems, one is we don't actually have enough water in the pipe because uh, the pipe doesn't have enough throughput. So we're just gonna upgrade some of these pipes and hopefully that's all of them. That is the water pipe. Okay, so we now have a 200 water pipe, 200 water pipe, 200 water pipe, 200 water pipe, and a 200 water pipe, which should solve that problem. But I also don't have enough actual water in the pipes. So, long time ago, we had a couple of groundwater pumps up here, and I removed them, thinking, well, we could probably w live without them. Turns out, no, we definitely need them back. So I'm gonna plug this into, gosh, uh, through this spaghetti mess into here, which means that water pump is just gonna make sure that the water for the cool casters is stay topped up. Okay, that's really all I care about. Uh, also need to do the same with the second water pump. Let's go with, oh gosh. Uh, okay, here it turns out. Uh, and we're gonna have to run this pipe through everything, I think, uh, because we're no longer getting enough water from our oil build. Um, our oil build is, funnily enough, not consuming enough oil. Uh, so I need to run a water pipe over to two different places. Uh, one is, actually is it just this one pipe? No, it is this one pipe. And also uh, this one pipe, yes, okay. Uh, also need to run, splice this off. Uh, that's getting very narrow. Uh, Okay, can we go from that? No, I, I don't want another. I don't want another support. That's what the thing I'm trying to avoid. Because uh, the moment the truck's still getting in here to deliver rubber, uh, we'll run the pipe all over the place if needs be, so I can plug in here. Because I don't want to make this section too narrow. And I might have already done it. Where is a truck? You, sir, truck. Show me navigation. Yeah, I don't know whether they can get down here anymore. Uh, stop bringing your sand and oh no. They 
can I get through here anymore? Which means we can't get rubber delivered anymore. Okay. Uh, all right. So this pipe is fine to here. This pipe is fine to here. This pipe is not fine. Okay. So I need to build. Thank you. I need to get water into uh, that mixer to make acid because currently we're shipping acid down into the crater. The other place I need to get water is into here uh, to run our concrete production. Our concrete production is also short on water, which means I just need to just add a trickle of water to both those locations. So if I get that pump running as well, that hopefully solves that problem. Well, both those problems, yes. If we start consuming diesel faster, well, then this kicks in more, which then means the exhaust kicks in more, which means uh, our desalinators kick in more, which means more clean water pumping down this pipe, which then feeds all that stuff. Yeah, it, water is a complicated thing. We're going to have a problem with water in the long term, sooner or later, uh, but that's a whole different story. All right, uh, so we're going to run the loopback belt for uh, construction parts two into threes, because I'm going to need a lot of threes for exactly what we're going to be doing right now, which is, um, well, actually setting up a couple of more miners. All right, uh, we have a couple of miners already set up down here for digging out iron. I'm going to give them two trucks. Also, I have a couple of diggy boys set over here to do coal, to dig back up to the other coal mine. Uh, we again, again, set in two trucks here. I do need to keep an eye on our stable overloaded because, um, well, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, also need to do one more thing up here, which is our limestone buckets. We did put in this wall, which I think would save us. Uh, but at the end of the day, if these buckets fall over, well, the contents gets destroyed. And as this is really the only spot we're digging limestone currently, and the other limestone is here, which is a little bit awkward for us to get to, um, I just want to move the limestone buckets, all the buckets, uh, out of the way. So we're just going to move the buckets to here. They're going to carry all the same settings. And actually, can I move them? Yeah, let's put them in the middle of the path. Can we get those done? Uh, which means I'm going to promptly destroy those ones. And uh, can I just turn to do, 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 do that off? Yeah. Uh, and hopefully that gets removed and, well, put probably in the crater. In the crater. All right. Uh, that's the last thing I, need, I think I need to do up here. Yeah, so we should have concrete slabs running better, which is good because we're going to need uh, concrete slabs to get construction parts one made to then make as many twos as possible to then make as many threes as possible. And as we have a one-to-one -one ratio for our ones and twos, it basically means every single one we're making is getting turned into a two. And as we have a three to two... A, a four to three, it means that only one of these is actually making structure parts two, whereas the other ones, they're just going straight to this machine, providing we keep up with the steel, which should now be fixed, considering I've gone out of the water. Speaking of our steel, we're going to send Mr. Shippy Shippy out to, well, there's no pirate there, so we're just going to say hello to these, uh, this level sediment. All right, uh, iron ore, low supply of rock, which should get sold fairly quickly. Uh, side access. Side access has no place to dump products. Okay, which is a problem. Uh, unfortunately, you guys are going to have to drive out to here to start dumping around the sand mine. The more material I can dump around the sand, the further we can dig sand out a little bit deeper. Uh, low supply of copper ore. That should solve itself fairly up. Uh, helps if I undo that. That should solve itself with the trucks just driving the copper ore over directly. All right, low supply of food. Uh, that is something else I need to fix. All right, so up here, we have this water pipe going this way, which feeds those three farms. I still have a problem with um, lack of space, but I do have some space here for a couple of farms if the trees were removed and this pipe was removed. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to... I should just bridge off there. Uh, we're going to run this pipe around the edge here as much as possible behind these trees if I can. Uh, and along the side, because if I can get this pipe completely out of the way, uh, we should, yeah, that'll do us, uh, we should be able to remove this pipe, which is paused, this one going up to, well, the settlement, uh, but if I bridge too much water off this, we're going to have a problem with, um, the water pipe just runs out of water. If I bridge that around, we should, uh, pause again, please. We should be able to get the tree harvester guys up here to chop down these trees. Whilst we wait for them, I do need to put in a couple extra farms, which is going to be an irrigated farm here, providing the trees are gone, uh, which is just beside that black line. So we're going to put one there and 
Of course, the pipe sticks out by its heart. Alright, hard up against the pipe. Uh, hard up against you. And would I fit a third one? I would, after that pipe's gone. Alright, so we're going to put in a couple more farms. Uh, Food-wise, we have... Well, I have potatoes. I have a little bit of corn, not a lot of corn. I also have some veggies. We also have a problem with um, food's not always being delivered in time just because of how tr busy the trucks are. And the more things we move down into the crater and back up to the crater, the worse things are going to get. Um, it's going to be a bit of a bit of an issue until we solve a couple of transportation issues. Uh, I want to remove that coal pipe, coal pipe, coal belt, uh, so I can put in another hut uh, with probably just more potatoes. Yeah, I think we're just going to put in another set of potatoes. I am going to put in an extra one in case we want an extra one in the future. And then just get this belt relayed back in. So at least that coal keeps moving via the power of auto magic. All right. We're going to get you built, uh, which will give us another spot to store a whole bunch of potatoes. And we are going to plant, well, potatoes, potatoes and veggies. Because uh, they are the easiest crops I want to say to, 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 to plant. Uh, also they uh, provide a decent amount of food. Like, don't get me wrong, wheat is definitely a better option uh, in the long term, but that requires me to set up a whole lot of uh, production to get wheat up and running. Because, um, you know, you can't just fit it in raw. Uh, I need to unpause that pipe and unpause that pipe. And again, we're just going to take more water off these groundwater pumps. We're definitely overloading the system already, so I do need to look for alternative water sources. But again, uh, future jetty problems. All right, so with those done, uh, I need to come down back into the crater and we need to get some of this done. So we did speak last episode about having, well, uh, glass up and running, also copper up and running. Copper is now directed to go directly into this bucket. And I want to do the same with coal. So I want to make sure that these guys can put rock and dirt into these two buckets. Also coal, I want them to be in charge of doing this. I don't want to have coal from the top of the map getting trucked down, and I don't want coal from the bottom of the map getting tra map tracked up. So that's going to be very, very important. Uh, iron is going to be the same story. They can fill out these buckets. And actually, can I get you guys to just pop over here and do this really quickly? I want them to be able to put stuff in these buckets, and that'll have to get shipped off and, and dumped. But uh, the iron, we're going to ship directly into an iron bucket when we work out where the iron bucket's going to go. All right. So that brings us to this. This is our concrete production. Uh, first off, these are concrete mixes number one. I want to change them out for the number two. There's little point building the first version to then upgrade them, providing I don't run out of construction parts. Uh, you, 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 and you. I do need to enable the recipes. We're going to go with the manufactured sand for both uh, gravel and slag crushed and paste those on there. Okay. Uh, next thing I need to do is we're going to go for a big boy bucket, as always. Uh, can I just snap you on there? All right. So next thing we need to do is the plan is going to be change these rotary kilns from the current version up to, in the future, the gas version. So the gas version will pump out twice the amount of cement, which will be enough to uh, run the concrete mixer level three. Also means I need to get either fuel gas or hydrogen down here which means I want to replan this with the idea to have the, this upgraded. Um, this has always been designed to work for the concrete mixer level one and level two, but my original blueprint doesn't include one for level three because that's a very different job. Uh, so what I want to do is um, well, basically I want to rip this apart and rebuild it. So we're going to put coal over here. Uh, I'm going to remove that coal belt. I'm going to flip that and we're going to come from here. Uh, yeah. Uh, R mode, up one, up one. Okay, be stubborn. All right, if you're going to be stubborn, you are going to go out from here, forward, and up. Great. Then I'm going to cut that off and then attach that back where I want it. Great. Uh, uh, okay, that's going to plug in there. So that we're just going to run our coal in from this side. It means that this being a limestone bucket can get changed over to a big limestone bucket. Uh, you are going to need limestone. Okay. Then I have a slag bucket plus a rock bucket. We're going to move both of those out of the way. And then I'm going to start ripping out this because when we upgrade the production, we're going to also upgrade the amount of uh, crushed stone and gravel, etc., that we need to bring into the system. So we have uh, unlocked uh, the crusher large. 
which is worth six of the little guys. As I already have three in here to make the slag crushed or the gravel, it means when I upgrade them to the next level, I'm gonna need, well, I'm gonna need, they're gonna run twice as fast, which means rather than need three of them, I need six of them, which means I can replace the whole lot with a large crusher, which is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna have you do both uh, slag and gravel. Also means I need to make that manufactured sand. Uh, we need to have six for each of these at this level, and then twice that at the next level, which is 12, uh, 12, 24, 48. So if I get another one of these and I look at the manufactured sand recipe, I can see 48 gravel into uh, 48 manufactured sand. But I also need to make that gravel. Turns out a little guy, two of them, will make uh, exactly the 48 gravel that I need. So our plan is to take you, uh, right, that direction, uh, put in you back into there. Okay, so that is gonna be our slag plus our gravel. We'll just feed both of them in here at the back. Uh, slag and, yeah, sl crush, slag crushed and gravel. We'll just feed both rock and slag in at the back. Okay, the next one is you who's gonna do the manufactured sand, which we're gonna put right beside it. Uh, we're gonna plug the belt in uh, there. And then I need to get a couple of these guys in. So we're gonna put you here and you here. Uh, can I get you to move up a tile, down a tile, right there. All right, uh, you're gonna have gravel. Uh, you're gonna have gravel. Uh, so I just need to get rock in here, plus I need to get rock in here, and I need to get slag. So we're gonna have a big bucket and a big bucket. Uh, we're gonna copy the slag to that one and the gravel to that one. Uh, or the rock to that one, uh, which means those two can go away and I still need to have this balancer, which we're gonna plug in, in a second. We're gonna put you there and we're gonna put you here. Well, oh, here. All right, so I need to get uh, rock into both these guys. Actually, you need to move over just two tiles, two tiles, which means you need to move over two tiles as well. All right, I need to get rock into here, which is easy as plug a belt in like so. Nice and simple. Uh, actually, I think I wanna do that in reverse. Yeah, I wanna have you come down as quickly as possible and rotate direction and plug into that. Point. All right. So, uh, slag and rock. Uh, we're gonna put a balancer here and we're gonna bring out our rock, uh, like so, our slag, like so, and plug that in there as well. So I wanna move you back a tile. Uh, I think I wanna move you back a tile. Yes, because we've got future plans as well. Okay, uh, you're gonna prioritize in from there. Actually, I might need a double balancer. I think I need a double balance though. Uh, you need to prioritize in from there, and then that's the backup. I oh, will come back to it, we'll come back to it, we'll come back to it. All right, uh, I think we're good. Uh, the other thing I wanna do is, I wanna move this whole build over. Uh, the concrete slab's gonna come out on the right-hand side, and they need to go into construction parts one, which is up in front of us. So I think I wanna put that roughly about there. All right, next up, we're gonna need iron smelting. Uh, obviously, I need a couple of iron smelters, and the first thing we're gonna do is put a big boy box on the front. Uh, now, because you can't put a connector on a connector, I need to leave a one tile gap through here, and I need to have you reversed, I think, uh, which is your input. Your input is on the right. So I input on the right or left. Uh, iron's gonna come from the right. You guys also need to have limestone, which is gonna come from left, and also coal, which is gonna come from behind. So either or, either either i think uh let's go with input on the right so input on the right which means that blueprint is fine as it is we're just going to copy that i want to give myself a little bit of a gap between this and the slag build behind it i also need to get all the buckets for all the inputs which we'll get to in just a minute uh so we're going to go with you there and one is never enough uh so i'm going to go with uh six six seems like a good number uh, can you just be recovered, please? Um, this is, actually, you need to move forward one time. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, enough for one crusher. So one large crusher should, oh, what happened with that belt? I should grab my original blueprint. Uh, there to there, and there to there. Okay. Six smelters is what's required for one big crusher. So I now know I need to have one big crusher for iron ore, okay? To plug into these guys. Also need to get steel. We'll get to steel in just a second. All right. Uh, coal needs to come in as does limestone, which we have conveniently a limestone bucket right here. Can I get that to plug like that? I could. But I can steal limestone out the front of that. Do I want to steal limestone out the front of that? 
I object to stealing limestone in front of that. How many tiles do I have? Gap. I have just one tile, right? Yeah. Now we might have a separate limestone bucket. I'm going to need a coal bucket. Yeah, we're going to have a separate limestone bucket because limestone is going to have to do a few things. All right. Can I start with... Uh, let's put you somewhere. We'll work out exactly where in a second. All right. Uh, all right. First thing we're going to do is... No, I, I, I need to get this sorted. All right. We're going to put in a... A balance. A balance. I need a balance. I need a balance because we're going to have to get in uh, recycled materials. So we're going to remove... You and you. Uh, you're definitely facing the wrong way. Uh, you know, we're talking about putting an iron from the right. Okay, we'll just leave that. Uh, we'll, we'll leave that entirely. All right. Uh, so I want to plug it in. All right. Whilst we wait to plug it in, uh, I want to bring my slag out of this build. Okay. So we're going to bring our slag to here. Uh, then we're going to bring it over to here. Then I'm going to drop it down to ground level. Uh, actually, no. I want to bring it out and to ground level first. Yeah. And then I want to come... One more tile. And then I actually want to come into this balancer. Uh, yeah, I might, I'm going to need a balancer and a balancer. Okay, can you go one more tile? And then over there. I don't care if you block that port. And we'll put you there. All right, can I remove all this? So I need to have... A U-shaped balancer. I want to have this is the primary slag line in. This is the secondary slag line in. So you become the primary. The idea is we're going to consume the slag off, uh, well, off our iron smelting and our steel smelting first, and turn that into concrete slabs. Rather than me pick up slag with a truck and driving it from there to there. This I want to be the primary. Okay. Uh, if that fails, this will become the secondary, being this belt right here, which needs to come from a balancer. Okay, because I need it to be either slag or rock. So I need to go through another balancer, hence why this becomes the primary, i.e. grab the slag from this bucket. If that fails, then grab the slag from, well, well the rock from this bucket. Okay, a little bit of a mess, but it is what it is. Uh, I need to put in a bridge. Hopefully it fits right there. Of course it doesn't. Bigger bridge. No, I need to move everything over a tile. Uh, okay, we're just going to put in a very big bridge because a very big bridge has two tile gap, uh, which means we can have things a little bit larger. Do I want to move everything over? Maybe. All right, we're going to build that. Uh, what do I need to actually have this built? Uh, you need to have slag, you need to have rock, you need to have limestone, one bar, please. You need to have coal, which we're going to hook directly into this delivery service. And I think we can get this built. Now, I don't need to have all of it built. I just need to have parts of it built. So we need to have rock. We need to have slag. We need to have these balances. Uh, I need to have one of our crushers. I need to have obviously the other crusher, but I need to run this at 50% speed uh, because these machines are not, they're not the upgraded versions. So they don't consume materials twice as fast. Uh, so I only need to have like 50% of my crushers. Well, my crushers are only gonna run 50% of the time. It's probably more accurate. Uh, I need to reach under here and remove you and you and you because they're all one to one and we can build that. We can also build all of this and providing I haven't boo-booed too much, all the belts for coal should go in the right direction. They look like they're going in the right direction and we're out of workers. Cool. Uh, workers, uh, can I unpause you? And all oh, gosh. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to put in another one right there. Uh, we're going to pause the housing and at least let the people move in. All right. So that should. Hello? Oh, your construction parts with one. Oh, you're a loose storage. Uh, can I put in a loose storage too? Okay, loose storage too. All right. Good to know that we're out of construction parts one. We might want to pause that loop back belt. Uh, pause. Yeah, we might want to stock up on a few of those. Just a little bit. Uh, it looks like we're short on iron. Why are we short on iron? You're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, and you're running. We're just really consuming it. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, go say hi to a pirate. All right. 
so that's running uh this will be running eventually uh can i get the box built as well uh i do need to get water in here and we are fairly lucky on there's groundwater everywhere so i am going to for right now uh this may change in the future just plug in our water off the ground pump right here uh hello up to height three and height two Cool, done. Uh, that'll get us our water and that will get concrete slabs up and running locally. Probably helps if I make the chimneys. All right, uh, so step number one done. Step number two is iron, which I still need to... I'm not happy with suddenly making the decision to have the iron ore come in from the right. Can I get you guys, and you've dug that little area flat to go back to dealing this? Okay. Charles, what can't you reach? Uh, I got an idea. Try not to deliver things directly to the machine. Uh, off. Uh, off. Uh, off and off. Okay. Uh, you are facing the wrong direction. Does that solve everything? That solves everything. Okay, cool. Uh, my control tower has no destinations to be mined. Okay, so you are still working. What? Oh, it's iron ore that's out of things to mine. Okay, uh, iron ore. I can take this down another five tiles which is possibly not a bad idea. It's also possibly a horrible idea. Uh, instead, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut five tiles across there and then five tiles across there and then one tile across here. I'm gonna see what damage that does to this coastline. It's sure, this, this, short, this, this, I don't know, what, whatever you wanna call it. It should move all the material back by one tile um, or all the, the cave-ins back by one tile, it should be okay, uh, I hope. All right, back to this. So if your iron, I really wanna build iron, well, it's not gonna happen. All right, uh, steel, let's do steel. Uh, can I copy that? So steel, I wanna do the same. I wanna have uh, six of these. So that is our six melts right there, which means we're gonna need a second crusher, which is fine. I also need to rearrange some of these belts. So you two can share a belt, uh, you two can share a belt and also uh that's it yeah i think that's it for now uh we're gonna put a bucket here 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 uh where are we gonna put this bucket uh i really want the bucket there which means i have to flip that that's a nightmare can i put the bucket uh actually no you've run flat okay so if i flip you so you're running that direction and then cut you, and that needs to be flipped the other direction. Then I should be able to take this around and plug that in there. I am reasonably happy with that. Okay, so that's gonna be our steel production, uh, and we're gonna slap that. We're gonna slap that. Uh, can I copy a whole iron smelter, which would go there? We're gonna slap that, not hard up against the iron, but a one smelter gap in the middle. Uh, uh, one smelter gap and a tile. Yeah, can I remove just that part, I guess? Uh, cut all that and give us a three tile gap. Cool. Now, if I copy that and I overlay it over that, yeah, we could get another iron in if we need another iron. All right, uh, you need to go that way. You need to go that way. You whoop, need to go that way, and slag is definitely going the wrong direction. All right, uh, so I need to make crushed iron ore over here. I also need to handle, um, handle, 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 handle recyclables. So we're going to transport a U-shaped balancer, which we're going to put right here. And I'm going to go with one, two of these bad boys. We're also going to need, obviously, a big bucket, uh, which we're going to put right here. And you shall go into there and... You need to be a Mark IV belt anyway. Uh, or a Mark III belt anyway to run two of these guys. Okay. Uh, you're going to go into here, and you will also go into here. All right. That means that goes in there. All right. So I still need to get in. Uh, we now need to bring in limestone, and we need to bring in coal. Which means I need to work out where they're going to go. I think for just ease, uh, your limestone, you can go here. And trucks are going in and behind. Uh, how about here? I think it's side axis. Uh, maybe. Maybe. 
maybe reverse all this. Uh, so you go here. Yeah, and then trucks can access that bucket. Uh, we're gonna put this bucket here. And you, no, uh, forward one tile. That's a lot of complaints from the trucks. Just so you're aware, it's a lot of complaints. Uh, height two, height three. Height, height three is limestone. Uh, well, we're gonna call this one coal then. Uh, you are gonna go in at, no, height two, height one. Height one, please. Cool. Uh, right over the top of everything else and into there. All right. You are going to be coal, and you, therefore, shall be limestone. Change you out to be coal. And same story, I want to go to you and say export to there. I also need to go to the iron guys and say you can directly export iron into here. All right, next is going to be the limestone, which we'll just grab out of there. We'll press the F button because I don't... Uh, F, F, F. I don't care if I block those guys off, and you'll be height number two. And we'll plug you into... Here. And I've changed my mind. I've 100% changed my mind. Yeah, we're going to do these at this end. Uh, remove that. Yeah, we're going to bring in coal from this side and limestone from this side as well. Alright, uh, can I put you somewhere and you also somewhere? Can I put in limestone on that belt down to... Uh, that's all, sure. Can I slide you, you fit? You fit, okay. Uh, coal, can I do coal here? So we should be able to come out two tiles, that way a truck can still drive right up beside this bucket. And we'll plug in coal onto the second belt, please. All right, that is gonna be our plan. So we wanna build these two buckets so we can get materials in. Also get some of these belts running. I need to get at least a iron smelter up and running. Uh, and I need to get the slag belt up and running. I'm gonna have a lot of these belts running the wrong direction, so we'll have to fix these up bit by bit. Okay, also need to get iron ore, which is gonna be at this end. Uh, I only need one crusher for now, and you. I also need to get steel up and running, so can we just get a steel smelter up and running, which is also gonna need that output belt and that bucket. Uh, okay, and that was a lot of errors popped up right there and then. Okay, so I need to get iron ore. Uh, also need to get coal and limestone. I'm out of uni or out of construction parts, or you're just beeping at me because you feel like it. Uh, can I do that and that? We're going to uni, one tile all the way along here. I want to get every one of these belts done because we're going to need every one of these belts to bring in materials from one end or the other end. Okay, that should be you up and running. Okay, iron ore is definitely traveling, traveling to left. Uh, Coal and limestone are traveling to the right now, so I need to reverse that, reverse that, reverse that. One of my wish lists for the game is definitely to... Oh god. Uh, it's that... It's, 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 it's that belt right there, under there. Yeah, uh, definitely have a tool that I can hold in my hand like an upgrade planner uh, where I can just click on different belts and things and have them change directions. Uh, iron that way, lime, uh, coal that way, limestone that way, yep. So you need to reverse, you need to reverse, you need to reverse, uh, you need to reverse, you need to reverse, and you need to reverse. Just with the addition of blueprints now, like building every blueprint with a, a mirrored version is just annoying. All right, I, I, I don't like doing it. Uh, obviously, I could have placed this a little bit better, so I had three out of the four belts running in the correct direction, uh, rather than zero, but one. Uh, okay, reverse you, and reverse you, and there's another belt missing there. Uh, so that's slag, which is gonna go to the right. That is coal and limestone, and limestone and coal. Great. I don't see materials on the belt, which means I missed one. That one. And that one. Great. That should be that up and running. Okay. So you will, after you actually get some iron ore, actually run. Uh, iron ore is... Helps if I set a filter. Okay. Where are your trucks? Uh, the other side of the map for reasons. Okay. What do we have? Uh, low supply of saplings. Finally. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, change the alert to notify me when empty. All right, that means the tree harvesting crew has come up here and completely ignore my request to do this. Why, guys? These are marked for chopping. Uh, navigation. You can definitely get here. Okay, unmark, unmark. Remark. Rima. I don't know. All right. Uh, no place to dump products, which is... Okay, you are telling me you don't know where to dig. Okay, you, uh, zigzag team, can come edit area through to here. I'm, you, you'd be reasonably confident you can get that done without any problems. Uh, you were complaining you didn't have anywhere to dump anywhere which means this dirt is full. Okay, can I mark out a couple more tiles for dirt? Now, dirt I want to store up for a little while longer, okay? I want to make sure I have enough dirt to do a bunch of projects. One of them, obviously, is uh, probably put in some more farmland up here. Uh, can I remark this to go from there to here? Uh, and we will start dumping dirt to there and to here. I need to have a certain amount of dirt available for future farming projects. Uh, low supply of iron ore, which is probably bad and also fine at the same time, apart from, well, construction parts. Uh, there's some of those, there's some of those, there's still some of those. Okay, cool. Uh, so I just need iron ore in here, which is finally arriving, which is finally gonna get crushed, which is finally gonna pop out. Yeah, no, technically, that belt needs to get upgraded, and that belt needs to get upgraded, and that belt needs to get upgraded. And then every belt needs to get upgraded. That's fine. All right. With you running, with you potentially running in the future when you finally get your little bit of iron ore, oh, also probably helps if I add a smokestack in. Your smokestack's done, your smokestack's not done, and you also need water, which we are going to, again, just steal a tiny bit of water from the ground right here. Uh, okay, you're flowing the opposite direction. I'm going to steal a tiny bit of water from the ground right here and call that done. Uh, we'll sort out water in the long term later. All right, so you've run. You now have oxygen because I finally put in that exhaust. Uh, you have oxygen, yes. You have water, yes. And therefore, you should run. Okay, so we should have some steel, some iron, some concrete slabs. Next thing I want to do is I want to get this built. Okay, this is the most important thing. I want to actually start having materials down here. So you are not glass, you are plastic. Plastic, 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 plastic. Okay. Plastic, which needs to go into the top belt uh, for PCBs. So can I just plug you in so you're done? Uh, we're gonna remove that and slide that one tile forward. All right, uh, I need to get uh, this cut out. Thank you, uh, a big box. Copy that setting to there, remove you, remove you, and we're gonna have a big box for electronics too, and you are copper. So if I build this belt and this belt, we should have copper getting at least into here. I also need to have rubber. So I'm gonna remove you, and because we're gonna be trucking rubber, at least for the right now, uh, we're gonna put in a big boy box, and we'll put you Probably right where you, uh, probably here. Can I make that turn? I don't think I can. I don't think I can get down from there. Sure, you can have a little zigzag. All right, uh, rubber, which we need to put a request on. And again, that's gonna put more pressure on the trucks. Every single thing I build, where I need to ship things down, and we're gonna be shipping things down for a little while, is gonna put more and more pressure on the trucks. Okay, I need to have electronics running. I need to have electronics down here just running so we can start making maintenance. If I can start making maintenance and construction parts and all those other things, we're off to a good start. Okay, I need to get, uh, not iron here, but steel for mechanical parts. I also need to get iron into you, I need to get wood into you and concrete slabs. So I need to get, uh, oh, and steel into you. So first things first, let's start with concrete slabs. Straight line. Okay, iron, straight line. And steel. Uh, 
Third line? Third line. It's... Yeah, we might go with a third line. Because I will also need to have bridges down here. Uh, that's going to be another thing. We're going to need to have truck transport. Uh, I don't need to build these bridges yet. I just need to know where they're going to be placed. So in the future, uh, you would go there. Which means you'd stick out to there. And you would be a smaller bridge here. Uh, I, I need to make sure that we have room for to get trucks in and out. Okay. Uh, so you are steel. Uh, can we cut that belt back and raise you up? Uh, we're going to run steel into uh, this one. Yes. So that's construction part three, which needs to have steel. So we're just going to remove that and plug you into there. Also going to take steel along and plug it into this belt for mechanical parts. And is there steel in the box? There is a tiny bit of steel in the box. Okay, so we can get that built uh, through to there, through to, well, apart from that zigzag, I'm not happy about that zigzag, but whatever. Uh, through to there, through to there, and into these guys. If I can get at least one machine built, uh, then, and, and, and running uh, helps if you guys have an output. It would probably work a thousand times better with an output. If I can at least get in one machine running, then we can move on to, you know, the next machine, the next machine, the next machine. All right. So then I need to have concrete slabs and iron, which are both right here. Uh, okay. So I need to bring this up. I also need to make sure that trucks still remain, uh, remaining have access to all these buckets for construction parts. Uh, so that's a separate thing I've got to worry about. Uh, we're going to go with... First belt's good enough belt. It doesn't really matter which belt's which. Uh, they just need to be all three of them. And so that is iron. That is going to be concrete slabs, which we're going to run over here. And to there. And to there. Okay. So with that done and that done, uh, we should be able to have uh, a lot of errors. Okay. First off, ship fully repaired. We can send Mr. Shippy out to 990. No. 610, no. 470, yes. Okay, we're sending Shippy Shippy out to there. We can also, uh, and then have wood come in here. So wood, we have a little bit of wood in storage, uh, which we are going to definitely keep on the belts and run through to here. And height two. Through to here. Height two. Under there. Uh, Sure, around past glass. So let's run to there. Let's drop down to height one under this bridge. This is temporary. This is going to go in the long term. Uh, Going to run over that. Two there. Two there. Uh, two. Sure, I'll allow it. Uh, just get the belt fully out of the way. Uh, I don't need to bring electronics out, do we? Possibly. Uh, if we block it off, it's probably okay because we're going to be... This is this is a temporary belt for wood. Wood will get moved to a separate bucket right about here after we finish emptying well, these many, many buckets. All right, uh, so that should get us into here. That should get us the first one up and running. So we should be able to make construction parts one. That's the important bit. I want to have construction parts one running. So, we can get this belt built and this belt built uh, for construction parts two, which should be that build right there. And that means I should be able to unpause that building. Cool. All right, let's deal with some of these. Large tree is struggling to find what? I don't know what destination you're going to. That's my problem. Okay, try driving to here. Oh, you've chopped all those ones. Never mind. You decided to chop them. Ah, it's this one. Okay. Don't chop that one. All right. Come back down here and chop these trees then. I'd like these ones gone. Uh, okay. Large tree harvester now has trees. Excavator has no fuel. That's going to be an ongoing problem. Sapling. Uh, does that mean you are now empty? You are now empty. Cool. Uh, you can go away. Uh, you still have saplings. We're fine right there. Uh, mind control tower has no designations marked, which is our terracing team. We're all terraced out. Excellent. Okay. Cancel that. Cancel that. Uh, and that. All right. Terracing team. Yeah, don't care. Uh, don't care. Don't, don't care. 
Don't care, don't care, don't care, and okay. You, our answer is delete. That's our answer. Uh, which is just gonna dump those excavators and those uh, trucks into the general pool, which is fine because we're short on trucks in the general pool all outright. All right, uh, so back to this problem. So you should be, wood's on its way. So we should now have construction parts one automated down here. With ones being automated, they should have 50% of them come into here, which should make our twos. And our twos need to have that belt, uh, those belts, that belt, that belt, and that belt. And that should get us at construction parts three. And then I should have both one, two, and three down here, at least running, like not running well, we're not looking for running well at this stage. We're looking for running. We're looking for a bare minimum uh, viable product. And that's what we're really looking for right now. Uh, I do need to get maintenance down here done as well. And we have uh, both mechanical parts and electronics here, sort of. So we have the ability to make maintenance, but that also means we need to deal with recyclables, uh, which is a whole separate problem. And you don't have... Okay, so your slag is backed up, which we knew might happen. Okay. Especially even more so when that doesn't exist. All right. So slag, I didn't really... Okay, so we need to put a... I need to put you in there. In yet another balancer. Uh, right there. Okay, you are going to be priority out and build that. All right, slag is going to have to have a separate bucket. Oh, do I put that underneath? You are going to be the slag bucket, uh, which will be this one, except rather than being a fill, it'll be an empty. And you are going to run a belt around here at ground level, uh, because trucks can do what's known as a close approach, or they just get close enough to a box that they can reach it. And that goes in there. And with that and that done, that should solve our slag problem. Trucks. No. Cool. All right, so we have coal. We have some limestone down here, not a lot. Uh, we have more coal. Uh, I guess I can drag that up. Uh, we have concrete slabs, plenty of them already. Iron is getting there. Now it's going to clear off the slag. Uh, you are definitely producing steel, which means we should have some amount of steel. Not a lot of steel, but we have some amount of steel. And I only have 17 workers. That's really my main issue. I just don't have a lot of workers, and I'm not going to have a lot of workers until we start disabling this, which is gonna be next episode because we are out of time. We are out of time. We've got a lot of progress done. We have a basic, like like bare minimum viable product down here. We also have some very, very busy trucks, uh, which I really can't do anything about. If we turn off mining jobs, there's moving around a lot of slag uh, and a lot of diesel, which is bring diesel down here, which we probably don't need anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, this amount of coal, veggies, waste, like all these odd jobs I'd like to remove. I'd like to remove them one at a time, but the only way we're going to do that is, well, getting everything moved down here, um, which means like all this production needs to move down there properly. All the maintenance needs to move down there properly. All the recycling needs to move down there properly. Uh, all of it needs to move down there properly, which is going to take some time, but we're getting there. We're getting there bit by bit. Also, our zigzag is getting there bit by bit. The closer we get our zigzag down, um, the, well, the shorter the route is. Also, if I can get out, dug out to this wall, it means that when we do need to dump slag and dirt and other things in the sea, well, it's a much closer to just get to the sea rather than having to drive another halfway around the map to drop stuff. Sure, it's still halfway around the map to start with to get up to this level, but it's a start. It's a start. That's all that matters. Uh, either way, I'm going to call this episode here. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next episode where hopefully we can get the rest of this sort of built up and turned on and then we can decommission this or probably decommission this and build that y you know what i mean you know what i mean all right but i need to leave it here uh like i said as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in the very next video all right bye